If you're trying to learn to code, but you feel like giving up, or you're just struggling in general, then please watch this video all the way through. Perhaps you've seen the recent tech layoff. You've seen people online talk about how difficult it is to get in and how it is just so difficult to learn to code to the point where you can actually get hired or reach your goals. Or perhaps you're just finding the process of learning to code very, very difficult and you just don't know how to stay consistent enough to make enough progress. Well, if you're feeling any of those things, then first of all, I just want you to know that you're not alone. Every single person who learns to code goes through these same fears at some point in their journey. I did myself. I managed to go through it. I managed to become a programmer and get a real job as a software engineer, but a lot of people struggle with it. And I don't want you to be one of them, which is why I'm making this video for you today. So this video, I just want to give you a very logical argument as to why you should absolutely not give up and why giving up would be the worst decision of your life. So this is a cycle of learning anything. So when I was around 70 to 18 years old, I was the kind of person who was very obsessed about learning all kinds of different things. I was learning Chinese, I was learning graphic design, I was learning history, languages, because I thought that the more skills I can learn, the more valuable I can be as a person in society and therefore the more money that I can make. And while that is true in some sense, there was a big error that I was making in like doing all these things. Because what would happen with all of these endeavors, whatever I was learning, is that I would learn it for a little bit, be very, very excited because now I was learning this new thing that was all exciting. I had all these dreams like, oh, when I'm good at this thing, then I'm going to be able to do that and all this kind of stuff. But then what would happen is that at some point it would get hard. At some point I would realize that hmm, actually learning graphic design is a lot more difficult than I initially thought. And around that same time, I would start to get a bit bored of it. Like learning this new thing was no longer exciting and it started to just become kind of dull and something I didn't really want to do. So I ended up giving up a lot of the things that I was trying to learn. Now, if you never even got here, if you never even properly got to the point where you get through this initial excitement, you have a different problem and you have the problem that you cannot seem to get started. And the solution in the case of coding for getting started is to just find something that you want to code, some project that you want to build from scratch because coding that project and building this thing on your own from scratch is going to keep you occupied and it's going to keep you motivated. Now, if you're struggling with getting started, the way I usually deal with this is to simply use a ready-made template. And to help you, I have left below a set of completely free templates from HubSpot. Now with these templates, you have zero excuse to not get started because they do the start for you. So you don't have to deal with the empty page syndrome that so many programmers struggle with. The pack includes templates for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, plus access to GitHub repositories featuring advanced templates with navigation menus and breadcrumb templates, button transition templates, web form and search bar templates, and many more like this, it's basically a full toolkit to get you started with building your first website project. In fact, you can build a full website that looks professional simply using these templates and tools. And my favorite part is that you can then make your website pop by using ready-made animations, effects, navigations, menus, search bars, and a lot more that HubSpot is also providing you for free. Simply adjust the templates, copy them to your CMS, and you're on your way. This resource was made by HubSpot, today's kind of video sponsor, so a big shout out to them. And again, the link to download this resource for completely free will be down below in the description. Now, if you got started, even if you keep going at some point, you will hit what I call the dip, where your motivation and your excitement for learning will dip. You will no longer be as excited. And it turns out that this is how learning literally everything will work every single time. And we can generalize this to almost anything new that you get engaged in. Let's talk about relationships. When you get into a relationship with someone new, you go through what we all commonly know as the honeymoon period, where everything is amazing, everything is exciting, you're absolutely obsessed with each other, but it's impossible for this honeymoon period to last forever. At some point, things get more boring, the excitement wears off, and that is really when the relationship is tested. The same sort of happens with learning anything. You get to that point where you realize that this is actually a lot more difficult than it originally seemed and that is when you need to just keep pushing just keep putting in the work and eventually if you do that I promise you I promise you it will get easier and you will start to actually get good at coding or whatever you're learning and that is when things will get easier but if when things get hard you stop you quit 
what will happen next? You will go and start to learn something new because you're gonna have to spend your time on something, right? But the thing is with that new thing, the same thing is eventually going to happen. You're gonna hit the dip, you're gonna quit, you're gonna move on to something new. And if you do that, you risk becoming what I used to be, where you simply jump from one thing to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing, without ever sticking to one thing long enough to get good enough at it to actually produce some real value in the world and make money or whatever your goal is. And contrary to what you might think I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna tell you that you should just stick to everything and no matter what you're learning, you should always stick to it. There might be a very good case to be made that you should quit if the thing you're learning now isn't actually serving your long-term goals. And if that is the case, you should absolutely quit and simply move on to the thing that you actually want to learn, that is actually going to serve your long-term goals. But what I will argue here is that out of almost everything you can learn, coding is the one thing that you should stick to and here is why. Now Steve Jobs has a famous saying where he says that everyone in the world should learn to code because coding teaches you to think. And I think that is so true. Having now learned to code and got to the point where I know how to program, I feel like I've become almost a better thinker. Like because what coding is, when you break it down, it is this logic, it is purest form. There's no emotion involved, nothing like that, just pure logic. And when you write code and you execute it, as in you're telling the computer to do something, if it goes wrong, there is always a very clear logical reason as to why that is. So this is one just high level reason. Like even if you don't wanna become a software engineer, learning the code is just always going to be useful because it will make you a better logical thinker. Okay, but you might say, what about jobs? Like there's layoffs and all this. If you zoom out and you just look at the big picture, you will see that the jobs will just come back. What we are going through is not some permanent decline in programming jobs. It is simply a slump in the economy that is causing a lot of companies to focus on profitability, to lay off a lot of the employees. Eventually when the economy picks up, the jobs will just come back. So I just wouldn't really worry about that. And in terms of AI, people are saying AI will replace programmers, but if you're in the industry, it's pretty clear that what is actually gonna happen is that AI will simply make existing programmers a lot more productive with the help of all these AI tools. You can produce a lot more code, which means that companies can simply produce a lot more complicated software and produce software a lot more quickly. Think about in the context of a game, for example, Rather than reducing down the number of programmers and producing the same kind of games, or well, what is a lot more likely to happen is that they will simply have the same number of programmers, but just producing a lot more code and therefore producing a lot better games a lot more quickly. But obviously no one knows where future is gonna be. I don't know what's gonna happen. No one really knows. But if you're going to bet on something, I would still say that coding is the one skill that you should bet on. Because what coding gives you is a skill set to be at the forefront of humanity. Wherever future goes, all the biggest companies, the most exciting startups, the biggest things that are happening in the economy that are producing the most value are going to be related to technology in some kind of way. It's just always like that. And code is always gonna be the foundation of any new piece of technology. Maybe we're using a lot more AI than previously to build this technology, but at the core of it, there's going to be code, which means that there's going to have to be programmers who understand this code to be able to build this technology. And if you have the skill of coding, if you learn it now, you spend the time once to learn the skill, you're always gonna have the skill that's gonna unlock so many different possibilities. Maybe you wanna build a business. Most of the most valuable business in the world today are technology businesses because again, technology is where most of the value is created by humanity. So if you have the skill to create technology, you have the capability to be at the absolute forefront of humanity. And last but not least, if you're thinking about quitting, just ask yourself, what are you gonna do instead? What are you going to do instead that is gonna give you access to the same kind of opportunities, the same kind of pay, the same kind of lifestyle as software engineering? Sure, if you don't care about coding and if you don't care about the sort of lifestyle that software engineers have, of course, you shouldn't code. And in that particular case, you should absolutely quit coding and move on to something different. But you need to have a plan for what is the other thing? What is the new skill that you're gonna learn instead that is gonna take you towards your goals? So ask yourself, number one, what is your goal? Number two, what is the skill that is in the big picture in the long run most likely to get you to that goal? Obviously, you cannot know in advance, but if you had to make a prediction, what would be the most likely 
in the long run to get you to a goal. If it is not coding, that is fine, then you should quit. But I would bet that if your goal is to make money, have a very lucrative and monetizable skill set while having access to a pretty great lifestyle where all you have to do is type some things on a computer at the pace of five words per hour, then coding is going to give you the highest likelihood of achieving those goals. If you're struggling, just leave your exact struggles below. I'm gonna go through all of the comments and respond to you. I'm gonna help you as much as you possibly can. So just comment down below. With that said, if you wanna see another video that YouTube is gonna recommend to you, you can watch this video right here. I know you can do it. Just keep going and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.